for his deeds on me. And that is one package J. Jonah Jameson refuses. Ground teams, what's the status of our position in the West Village? APC off are under fire. It's the demon. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. We really need to get better about or Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit.
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. It's him. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. No expectations. It'd be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. Pigeon alert! Oh, come back, little birdie! Nothing like putting my skills to good use. I've just received an update on Adrian Toombs, a.k.a. The Vulture. Apparently, this winged criminal has fallen ill with cancer, and he's been moved to the Raft's infirmary for treatment, which will undoubtedly cost a fortune in public funds. Now, let me ask you, why do we even have an infirmary at the Raft? It's a supermax prison full of maniacs. If they get sick, let nature take its course. Now, I realize that's harsh, but so is my tax bill. Pigeon. Don't run! I won't hurt you! Hey, Howard. Think I found one of Pidgey's cousins. Dusty Gray Flex. Might have just left a stain on my suit? Hey. Guy's a little devil, but he's a chomp. Get a pat on the head and point him towards me. He'll find his way. No problem. I'll do the same for any others I find. That's not good for anybody. If you want to fight to the death, Hey, 
Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait for the to come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be a mix. Saving our butts, Spidey. You're welcome, scary fascist soldier guys. Attention units, we've got a 1010 possible narcotic sale. Officers needed in Little Italy. You're not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yeah. We Yo, built man. this war beast for Lee. He finances the boss's new venture. Need to get into that office. Well, you better clean your slag off that sloppy well. If he like that, he'll be pissed. What are they building? Is this all for Lee? Careful. Hey, what was that? Easy does it. Nothing. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? so intense about putting GPS trackers on everything. Protecting hey, trade secrets. I heard something. Doesn't want any word on grave dust leaking out. Still, Bill's paranoid. Who asked you? Those barrels seem important. Working. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? What's in these? Boss, come on! We'll never know this! Stone. 
You're right, Rick. Won't notice? Cause it won't be there. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. Such a disappointment. And now I need a new welder. Blueprints. An APC. This is what they're building for Lee. But here, we... GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath, whatever that is. Yeah, I'll dig into it. So I was thinking, what if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like a uh, spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. <laughs> Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh! Oscorp CFO! Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where do you want me to, uh... Just which is fine. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. 
So, are we partners now? Because it sure feels like we are. Partners? Uh, sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner.